here a new season will start. From here, a new titles will be clenched. Welcome once again to Ahli Online TV English News. I'm Yumna Atwa and the Ahli Wiyas Salam Stadium to get you the top weekly news of the club of the century. Let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli is the most decorated club in the world in 21st century. Al Khatib opens triple season and 2020's historical moments. Al Ahli begins the campaign to defend the league title versus Mr. Al Maqasa tonight. Ajaye, Shahat, and Marwan Mohsen are out of the league opener due to injuries. Suleiman, Jiang, and Ryan are back. Musimani, winning the triple, is always Al Ahli's target. Abdel Hafiz contacts Egyptian ambassador to Niger ahead of CAF Champions League opener. CAF Super Cup game has moved to Qatar. Al Ahli basketball team is getting ready for Zamalek in the domestic league. Al Ahli swimming teams win National Open Water Championship. Al Ahli club sits at the top of the world's most crowned clubs in the 21st century with 44 trophies, whether local or continental, after it succeeded in snatching seven African Champions League titles, in addition to 13 league titles, 11 local Super Cups, six Egyptian Cups, six CAF Super Cups, and one Confederation Cup, after surpassing Bayern Munich, who came second in the list with 42 titles. Al Ahli's president Mahmoud Al Khatib has opened up on triple season in a long interview with Yaqub Sadi on Al Ahli TV and stated that the support of our fans and team's commitment are the secret behind the club's victory of the ninth CAF Champions League title. He said, Additionally, the support of our fans was huge and gave trust to our players. Along with that, the team really wanted to win the CAF Champions League title. After losing the title in 2017 and 2018, Bibi also spoke about the difficulties which the club faced during the last season, especially in the CAF Champions League tournament. We faced a lot of difficulties, which developed even more by the people who caused them, he added. We dealt with these difficulties with great wisdom, as Al Ahli does not reply to these such minor issues. New season starts today at Al Ahli Wiyas Salam Stadium at 8 pm, when the league winners faces Mr. Al Maqasa in the domestic league opener. Coach Patsu Musimani named the team squad without any surprises, as the new signings are in as Moroccan defender Badr Benoun and our international defender Ahmad Beckham are ready for the first league appearance with the team. Al Ahli trio Junior Ajaye, Hussein Al Shahad, and Marwan Mohsen will not be available for Mr. Al Maqasa clash in the opening game of the 2020 2021 Egyptian Premier League due to injuries. Three of our first team players, Walid Suleiman, Ali Udyang and Ahmad Rayana, joins the team's training session at Altic Stadium, as the trio has returned back to the training sessions after recovering from COVID-19. Our head coach, Batsu Musimani, spoke to France Football magazine about fulfilling his dream of coaching Al Ahli and winning the triple in his first season, as well as talking about his thoughts and ambitions for the new season. He said, It took me 24 hours to accept Al Ahli's offer. I took the decision in the right moment after winning the triple with Mamelodi and Downs. The opportunity, the opportunity that Al Ahli gave me after Rini Weiler's departure was perfect for me. The fans' reception also was incomparable. The fans' reception also was incomparable. I have never been greeted like this in my life. This is a lot of pressure when you coach a big team like Al Ahli, as it's normal to win the league title, and the board always target the triple every year, which we did this season. Our director of football, Saeed Abdel Hafiz, spoke with Egypt's ambassador to Niger, Nabil Mickey, in order to coordinate and prepare with him in order to coordinate and prepare with him Al Ahli's trip to Niger before the match at Niger with AS Sonny Dip, as we will be defending our CAF Champions League title in the round of 32 on either 22 or 23 December. Our CAF Super Cup game against Moroccan side RS Bikain is set to be played in 2021 in Qatar, as CAF Executive Committee has decided in the last meeting, after CAF previously declared that the Super Cup game will be played in Egypt.
Al-Ahli basketball player Omar Tariq said that our team is ready to face Zemalik in the domestic league and he also expressed his eagerness to play his first derby with the Red Eagles. He said, we want to win all the titles, especially that we have a lot of brilliant players, besides being under the command of our great coach Ashraf Tawfiq. Besides being under the command of our great coach Ashraf Tawfiq, our basketball team will have an important game on the 17th of December as we will face our arch-rival Zamalek in the domestic league. Al-Ahli swimming team managed to win the National Open Water Championship, which was held at Sharm el-Sheikh. The Red Eagles showed a great performances, which led us to dominate the majority of the championship titles in different age groups. Al-Ahli swimming women's first team, U19 women's team, U19 men's team, and U18 men's and women team have succeeded to secure the first place. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. I'm Yumna Atwa, Ari Al Ahli Bia Salam Stadium. See you next week.